On this week's Dead Center segment, what I want to talk with you about is how to easily fletch your own arrows. And this is something I think all you guys should learn how to do. It's going to save you money and it's going to help you in understanding your equipment better and make them the same all the time, which is going to help your accuracy. But what we want to do to do our own arrows, first, I really recommend some type of a vinyl arrow wrap. I really prefer those. Um, we actually have an agreement with custommadewraps.com and you can get a knock-on style wrap if you want. Otherwise, any vinyl wrap will do. You peel these off just like this. You peel off your vinyl wrap and you lay it upside down on a mouse pad. Okay, and once you do that, then what you want to do is you want to get your blank arrow shaft and... All you have to do is lay it on the mouse pad, slide it towards you until you make contact on the full edge of that wrap. Then you press down and you just roll that wrap. And as you can see, that easy, you've got your, your arrow totally ready to go. From there, go ahead and take your fletching jig. Uh, everybody's got their preference on fletching jigs. This is a Bits and Burger I've used a long time and I just continue to use it just because I have for so long. Um, so what, what you do then, you put your arrow in there and you make sure that your clamp and your veins align with the open slot between any type of design you have on your cresting. Then you get your fletching and you're gonna place it in the jig on the, your desired mark, you know, where you need it to go. For the most part, um, you know, for the longest time, about an inch and an eighth from, from the end of the shaft up is about where you want to go. So we make it, put it on the mark. You also want to make sure that your vein is even in this clamp. You don't want it to be off this way or this way. You got to set it in there totally flush all the way from top to bottom. Then what you want to do is use a glue. Personally, nowadays with the veins that are out there, you can use an instant style glue. It's much faster. I normally do this while I'm watching TV and I can be done in no time. But uh, read the package on your veins. Some manufacturers recommend different types of super glue. So this particular glue, I'm gonna go ahead and put a small bead along this vein, evenly from the top to the bottom. Less is more when it comes to super glue. You want enough on there, but you don't want it gooping out. Then just take the edge of your finger and slide it along the edge of the vein just like that so that you have an even, you know, smooth amount of glue on the base of the vein. Then I prefer an accelerator just so that it, it adheses instantly. This is made by Bob Smith. Um, a lot of people ask me exactly what I use, so that's why I'm throwing a bunch of names out right now. Um, I actually get this from Lancaster Archery. A quick little mist on the shaft. Take your vein, you're gonna slide it down and just press on it and move your clamp so that you see that even line of glue coming out the base of the vein. You'll see that I did not use too much because it's not gooping out. It's a perfect little line. And from there, what you do is you just continue to turn it and do that ex same exact thing you saw how quick I did one. You know, I can do an arrow in about a minute. Then what I do to finish things up is I take original Fletch Tight. This is Fletch Tight Platinum. But uh, I do what I call tipping and tailing. And this is something that I did way back with feathers. And it really helps your durability, your travelability with your veins and your feathers both. But then what you do is you take this slow cure glue and you just tip just a little dab on the back of the veins or your feathers, and then the same thing on the front. I call it tipping and tailing. And that really helps with a lot of different things. One, if you ever pass through something, it really prevents the front edge of that peeling off. Um, it also, believe it or not, helps quiet it down a little bit going through the air. So once you've done that, you've got a perfect arrow. This thing's completely ready to go. Sharon's going to be happy that I got her arrow done. And other than that, you should have no problem doing it yourself from home. Good luck.